I mean, when I started, the, um, I had a box brownie, so it was a stills camera. I liked movies, but you know, and TV, but um, I wanted to work in radio, and I started in this outfit that I was a sound man, and I was working alongside cameramen at the time. And and after a while, I didn't like recording sound. I wasn't very good at it, so I became a cameraman. I thought these guys looked pretty cool, so that was it. And they, you know, uh, they basically helped me, taught taught me what to do. I learnt by looking at. I shot news. I'd look at the thing on the on the news that night, shoot shoot something in the day, look at it on the news that night, and learn from my mistakes. Or these guys would say, "Yeah, you could have done that. You could have done this." So nobody really uh, influenced me, but those guys, you know, the crews that I worked with. I knew that there was this screening production course here, and um, I thought, well, if, if in my downtime from filming, I would come here and offer my services. The thing about being a cameraman is you get, and especially if you work for a TV outfit or, or whatever, you get sent to all sorts of places, so no two days are the same, you know, you, you, you're in one location one day, maybe shooting a farmer on his farm, the next thing there's an earthquake and you're shooting an earthquake, you're at a fire, you might be sent, you know, when I was started, I started in Wellington and we covered from Hawke's Bay down to Nelson and Blenheim, so I saw a whole lot of New Zealand that way you know, just because I was sent there to cover news stories. But one of my favourite, I mean, I've been sort of around the world a couple of times filming for different programmes, but one of my favourite locations that, you know, I haven't been to Antarctica, but I'd love to go there, but um, was for the Millennium. I went to Kiribati for the Millennium and filmed um, the sunrise. And to get there, we had to fly to Hawaii, get on a boat for three days, and land on this tropical island, and get all the gear ashored by little boats, and build a village, live there for a month. The locals came with us on the boat, so they were there dancing and practicing their routine. So it was just an adventure. It was a real adventure, you know, that I didn't know was going to happen until about a week before. It was, it was just amazing, you know. This, uninhabited tropical paradise and we went there and filmed you know so you can't you know you don't know anything you don't know what's happening the next day from the one day to the next really so that would have been one of my favorite locations just because it was so special